Did you give up that car? Well, you mean the old car that I have? Yes. The old city car? That taxpayers bought? That taxpayers pay for. You know taxpayers not only pay for the controller, but the car that the mayor rides in, the, all of the cars that elected officials ride in. So are you asking me in total or just me? Are you? A local Fox reporter in St. Louis trying to get to the bottom of why a city official is getting a take-home car. But as you can see, he couldn't get answers right afterwards. Her PR person came in and tried to stop the conversation from taking place. Now, all this is costing taxpayers more than $26,000 just for her car. More than 200 city-owned cars are divvied out in St. Louis. Most cities in the U.S. do the same thing. John, government waste and abuse, it's not just inside the Beltway, it's at all levels, which means we have to cut government at all levels, right? Absolutely, it's beyond infuriating, but I almost think this distracts from our small government movement. Implicit here is that everything else government does isn't wasteful, when in fact the vast majority of government spending amounts to waste. I would say this distracts. Well, Rich, what bothers me most about what happened there in the confrontation was the PR woman getting right in the middle trying to stop the conversation <laughs> like it's not up to us. We don't have any right to know what's, what's going on with regard to how they're wasting our money. Yeah, this sense of entitlement is mind-blowing. But look, if St. Louis wants to elect people like that, um, who are going to be self-dealing politicians, then it's up to St. Louis voters to fix the problem. Bruce, even you think this is outrageous, but I, giving these crooks, or I shouldn't say crooks, but at least hacks, a, a credit <laughs> card you have no problems with. Why? Well, I mean, I guess it all depends on what the credit card is used for, but you could at least uh, uh, track what the people are spending on and where they're spending on. It'd be like a, a homing device, but I'd like to see the PR person go away. I'd always said if you could fund Obamacare if you, for everybody, if you get rid of one PR person, every health care company in America. That's actually, I'm, I'm with you on that, Emac. This PR person was just no. extraordinary. Yeah, listen, when uh, our teachers, cops, and firemen can't afford to support their families, and these guys are getting cars, are you kidding? me? Spending is on cruise control and it's out of control. We are not Uzbekistan. We're the United States of America. This has got to stop. By the way, Carrie, that woman in the middle that was trying to stop the reporter from asking the question, she was a former TV reporter. Just putting that out there. <laughs> yeah, TV didn't pay enough, so she went into government. <laughs> oh, there you go. The National Budget Office has looked at this. Government workers, once you get all the cushy time off, pension, being able to retire so early, they actually make more than private sector right. workers. So, of course, they're going to want to do it. And Sabrina, I mean, again, this focuses, it shows you that all levels of government waste money. It's just, it's just right. the nature of government. And I actually disagree with John here. I think that these stories are important because it brings it back down to something that most people can actually relate to. I live in Arlington, Virginia, just outside of D.C., and I see this everywhere. All right. of the parking attendants drive nicer cars than I do. You walk into the building, they have marble flooring. It's, it's a waste that is something that is very tangible. It's something very easy to recognize, yeah. and I think it's important that we point it and out. And, John, I should point out that Sabrina's in Virginia, which is supposed to be a conservative state <laughs> as far as spending goes. You should see what happens here in New York. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's fair enough, but again, all government spending is almost by definition a waste. Let's okay. focus on the big stuff. Last word from John. Thank you, gang. Coming up, when the market gets shaky like this,